Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Alright, so in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how you can make your own Discord bots so you guys can uh, program it by yourself uh, without any engines or some stuff like that. Today, I'm gonna show you just the basics, but in the next videos, I'm just gonna make a playlist for this, so uh, be sure to subscribe and like so you don't miss any episodes of my videos. Well, in today's video, just the basic things like the bot login, like uh, the bot, like uh, we can invite our bot into our Discord server. Then after that, we're probably gonna um, uh, code the bot that how the bot is gonna log in by the token. Well, you will see about that soon. All right. So first of all, all you guys need to do is just to check the first link in the description for this. Um, so when you click on the first link in the description, you will see a link here to this area. Well, okay, so this is the important part. There is a current version and there's the LTS version. Okay, so if you wanna um, learn with me these codes or some stuff like this, you can choose any versions you want and you can download it using the MSI uh, 64 byte computer or 32 byte, doesn't matter. I think in your system should be 64 byte, it's better, better, I guess. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you click on this, you can download this. The versions are different, which is I don't care because. Uh, in today's video, version 12 and version 13, I'm gonna teach you the JS number 12 until 13, so it's not gonna get any problems. So it doesn't matter. For me, if you wanna check your Discord, I mean like Node.js version, uh, and you already have it, and you don't know what version you have, it's very simple. Just go here and then type CMD, and the CMD is common prompt, and then just click enter, and you just type. Uh, node, I'm um, sorry, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, what was it called? Uh, NPM version, like this, and then hit enter. I just wait a few seconds for this to reload, and it's gonna reload, I guess. As you can see, now I have all of my NPM versions. Uh, also, I'm just gonna tell you guys that when you guys download the Node.js, make sure to restart your computer, so then it's gonna reload the system for the CMD, because it's very important. After you guys download this, restart your computer, you will need it. And as you can see, if you already restart your computer and install or some stuff like this, make sure that your node version is version until 12 until 13. So then we can uh, do anything you want with it without any problems. So uh, I think my NPM version is 6. Point. Okay, right, that's all, that's all. I'm not gonna talk or go to any details. Just download this if you didn't download it. That's all you need to do. Well, second thing you guys need to do is to check the link, the second link in the description. There is a Discord developer applications. Well, log into our Discord, and then as you can see, we'll uh, redirect to this link here. And all you guys need to do is just click on new application here, and then just name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it my bot, my row, for example. Doesn't matter, you can name it anything you want. Uh, Alright, this is not a good name. Alright, why you put a slash or not? That's, there we go, my row. Uh, and then go to your, you can name it anything you want, doesn't matter. And just in here, go to click on this bot here, and then click on add bot. It's gonna say, do uh, you wanna add this bot? Let make this application for a bot? Uh, I will say yes, I want this to be a bot. So there we go. Well, that's all you need to do. If you wanna, uh, now you have your bot here, your bot application. Well, if you wanna um, make your bot join your Discord server, some stuff like this, you need to do that because we're gonna test something very important, which is gonna require this. Well, uh, all you guys need to do is just uh, go into the OAuth here and then click on the bot. As you can see, it's gonna redirect us to this link here. All you guys need to just click on copy, then make a new tab here and just paste this link and hit enter. And it's gonna. There we go. So I'm gonna click on my server I want. Um, doesn't matter. I can click on my tests. Yeah. You can do anything you want. Doesn't matter. Just. Just join into your bot, make your bot join to a server, and there we go. We got bosses here. <laughs> All right, click on verify, and it's gonna verify. There we go. We got authorized right now. So this means when I go back to my Discord, I will see my bot, which is here. It's offline because uh, nothing is running actually. So this is a good sign, means that we installed our bot, but still we need to code our bot, our program the bot. So well, uh, this is the basic thing. So right now. Uh, but the second thing I want you guys to do is download the third link in the description, which is VS Code. Uh, this means, there we go, Visual Studio Code. This is the application that we're gonna code on, which is amazing, pretty nice. I, I'm not gonna lie, this is the best application I ever code with. Well, you can uh, choose any applications you want, but for our Discord bot, you need to download this. You will redirect to this link in here and just need to click on download for Windows, and it's gonna download and just install or some stuff like that, and you're done. That's all you need to do. 
Well, that's all for now. After you guys download the Visual Studio Code, uh, I want to go back to the desktop and just right click on the desktop and click on the new and then click on the folder. So I'm gonna name my folder uh, the bot name, so I'm just gonna call it my row, for example, doesn't matter. I don't know why I said that name, it's kinda bad, I don't lie. There we go, my row. And I'm just gonna double click on this, and as you can see, there's nothing in my folder. Make sure there's nothing in your folder, doesn't matter actually, but make sure this is nothing actually, nothing in your folder. Well, after that, you need to download the Visual Studio, as you remember, I told you before. Uh, double click on the Visual Studio code that you can install on your computer, you should install it. Because we're gonna run our bot by using the code that we're gonna learn or some stuff like this. Just follow my steps, don't worry about it. There we go. After you guys open your Visual Studio code, all you guys need to do is just open, maximize it. And then as you can there's a welcome page here, so uh, it doesn't matter, just don't care. <laughs> then go to file here, and then click on open folder. But remember the file on the desktop that I told you? Yeah, just go to the desktop here, and then click on the folder I told you, and then click on select folder. And just wait a few seconds, it's gonna reload the Visual Studio Code workspace for you. And because I wanna teach you very easier for you, uh, I'm just gonna maximize my Visual Studio Code so you guys can see the codes better. I see so many of you that uh, using your phone or something so like you can see the code. There we go. I, I think this is big enough. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me just make it a little too small and that's better. Oh my god. Okay, this is how it is. This is the Visual Studio and here's our folder here. Well, first thing we need to do is click on terminal here and then click on new terminal. And then as you can see, we have terminal here. Well, so in here, all you guys need to do is just type npm in it. So if I hit enter right now, it's gonna start something. Um, I'm just gonna hit enter, look what's gonna happen. It's gonna um, redirect us to installation. Like, uh, it's gonna ask us for the package name. It's gonna make a package for our bot, so um, our bot can run, probably, yeah. Just wait a second, there we go. So, um, okay, I'll ask you something here, it doesn't matter. Um, first of all, you need to be careful about something. If you can't see anything and it's gonna error us for this code, don't worry. The thing is, if you already open Visual Studio Code, we, when I teach you, I didn't open it, open it before. So, if your Visual Studio is already open when I was telling you download this or some stuff like this, close it and then open it. Or if it is still not working, you need to restart your computer, that's all you need to do. And make sure that you install Node.js, that's why, this is very important guys. Well there we go. So now it says a package name, I hit enter because uh, the package name is probably gonna, let's just make it bigger. Yeah there we go, the package name doesn't matter, Just I'm just gonna hit enter, I don't care. The version is this, hit enter. Description, this is a bot, or you can skip it by hitting the enter. Uh, this is a bot. Uh, enter point index.js, don't change anything here. Test command, don't change anything here. Tickets repository, don't change anything. <laughs> Keyword change, don't enter. Author, pre author, as well. Uh, license, hit enter. Uh, yes. There we go. Well, uh, don't worry about the author. You can put any name you want for the author. I didn't say that, but yeah, you can put anything you want. And there we go. Now we have package.json. This means when I go back to my um, desktop and go back on my folder, there we go. We have package.json. This is the pot file that uh, the installation or some stuff like that is gonna appear in here. There we go. Uh, we need this one for sure uh, in the future, so don't forget about this. Well, the second thing is you can close our terminal because we don't need it. Um, I'm just gonna make this a little smaller. There we go. So I want you guys to right click in here and then click on new file, and we're gonna call it index.js. This is very important. Make sure that it's index.js, nothing else. Well, this is the main thing of our bot. This means that every code we single code, code in my, our bot is gonna be in index.js. Well, not pretty much, because um, as you know, we have a token for our bot. I think most of you know. It's a token for the bot that make us to log in into our uh, bot or some stuff like that. We need, the, the, this is the index.js is the thing that's just gonna code for our bot. But if you wanna log in into your bot, it's gonna have a very, very different thing. We're gonna learn it soon. Well, click on new terminal again because we're gonna install a package. Well, the package is in discord.js, so if you want to install it, just put npm i discord.js slash slash save. Uh, let's see if we're gonna save. And then hit enter. And just a few seconds, and it's gonna install a package for you. 
so you guys can code and uh, it's gonna like this isn't a model actually it's not a package it's a model from a discord uh, so you guys can uh, code with it so this is the important part well after you guys install you should see a fuller cut note uh, underscore models there we go they have a note that underscore models there we go pretty nice look nice uh, definitely double click on this there's uh, so many files here if you can do this in here you can do that as well uh, these are the files that it's gonna import into our index.js so yeah i, I, don't, I just don't want to explain too much because it's kind of confusing for you guys here type go. const um discord equal to require um these brackets and then put these points i don't know what is it called discord.js there we go well, remove this one because we don't need it for sure. Uh, Discord.js, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Well, okay, what is this? <laughs> All right, this is a const Discord required as Discord.js. So this means if every time we are code when we type Discord, this means that our Discord means it's gonna import the Discord from not models. And yeah, we need this one for sure in future. Well, there to go. There we go. So we want our bot to log in into our code. Like when we are gonna run our bot using the terminal, it's gonna log in by a token. So I want you guys to right click in your files again and make a new file called bot settings. There we go. And then type JSON. That's JSON. Bot settings at JSON. Then make something like this. Hit enter. There we go. Between them. Look at this. Hit enter between them. Like this. Hit enter. There we go. Like this. Well, in here, I want you guys to put uh, your bot token. Uh, well, I'm not gonna do it right now. We just need to do this and type token. Then you guys need to put this two points like this, and then put this like this. As you can see, I have something like this. And your token should be between the, the bot settings, which is very important. Uh, after you guys put your bot token, uh, you can get your bot token from here in the bot tab in here. Copy the spot token from here and then paste it between these two. So if I'm gonna paste it, you just need to click on copy. Don't sh if I click on this, it's gonna show me the token. All of them. Well, don't click on this when you're recording or some stuff like this because they literally can destroy your Discord server in two seconds if it's in your Discord server because they will have they will have access to your bot or some stuff like this. I'm not gonna go straight into it, but don't show it to anyone. That's the important part. Well, I'm just gonna paste my token here. Well. Hold on. Well, all right. So well, uh, I put put the my token there. After you guys did that, save the boss settings, and then in the index.js, you need to type const boss settings. Uh, so require. Uh, what? Okay, hold on. Re require. What? Alright, hold on require uh, the requirement is the point slash I'm like the what's it called slide uh, the bot settings there we go bot settings dot JSON well there we go that's how it is so this means when we type bot settings it's gonna connect to the bot settings that JSON in here but why we put this two here? This means okay. So every time we're gonna import something like require some stuff like this, it's gonna require go to the node dot models like node uh, underscore models. Well, we want we don't want the bot settings will be there. As you can see, our bot settings is not in node dot node slash I mean underscore models. Our bot is outside of this rule. So if every time you want to put a file outside that, you need to put these point with this thing like this. So yeah. And then put this at the end and save this. Well, after that, we want our bot to log in. So if you want your bot log in by that token in the bot setting, you just simply do. There we go. Have counts bot that new Discord client disable everyone true. So this means that uh, when we type bot, it's gonna make a new Discord client and everyone can't use a problem. So that's how it is. Just make sure that you put this code after these two. So you will need them. And then type bot dot login equal to uh, I'm sorry not equal type uh, bot settings and bot settings uh, dot token so our token should be in here exactly in here but our token is exactly in the bot settings in the token field so that's we're gonna say that for that because as you remember 
we put a token for this one here and don't worry if you see this score right now don't worry I'll remove the application after this well as you can see there's a token here uh, and yeah that's how it's gonna work out well uh, now it's gonna log into my token or some stuff like that if you want to test if it's working right now you guys need to click on the terminal again and type node space dot and then hit enter and you need to go back to your discord so you can see what is going on I think it's gonna be online for sure in some seconds I guess because it's gonna take a few seconds for getting it oh there we go now our bot is online this means the bot is connected into our code which is pretty nice that's all you need to do for now well this is nice but the first thing I'm gonna really let you know is uh, your bot is actually online right now well nothing is going on actually right now if, if I type anything I don't put any prefixes if I type anything as you can see doesn't matter the bot is not gonna do anything and if I type like for example uh, purge or some stuff like it's nothing is gonna happen well the reason is <laughs> we didn't code anything for a bot we just told the code the, our program to connect into the bot into the bot so then then it's gonna work out well that's how it is for this episode what in the next episode I'm gonna show you guys amazing commands and very epic commands that you can do with your bot and you can um, how you can make like the simple commands like when we type uh, like something like hi it's gonna answer us well I know he's pretty nice yeah all right so that's how it is that's for how it is for this for our, uh, this episode uh, if you have any questions just join your discord server I will answer that especially uh, and I don't I don't care if who are you it doesn't matter for me I just answer your questions without any problems uh, if you can if you don't have discord it's fine just comment down below I will answer for sure if you like this video make sure to leave a like hit a subscribe button and follow me on the socials the socials are in the description also if you want to join to the discord server there's a link in the description that you guys can join yeah that's how it is well I will see you in the next episode if you want to see the next episode make sure to subscribe so then you won't you won't miss out on anything and turn on post notifications well peace out goodbye have a nice day